Welcome to the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice webinar talking about mapping thousands of SNPs. My name is Heather Merck and I'm the content coordinator for PBG and your host today. For those of you unfamiliar with the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice, aka PBG, I invite you to explore our training resources at www.extension.org slash plant underscore breeding underscore genomics. I also invite you to subscribe to our newsletter, PBG News, to stay up to date with webinars and other announcements. During today's webinar, Dr. Alan Van Dynes of UC Davis will talk to us about an analysis pipeline to group, order, and map SNFs, as well as visualize heat maps. Alan is a professional researcher at the Seed Biotechnology Center at UC Davis, and he received a bachelor's and master's degree in plant science from the University of Manitoba in Canada, and his PhD in plant breeding from the University of Guelph, also in Canada. He did a postdoctorate in molecular genetics at Cornell in the Department of Plant Breeding and Biometry. Alan previously worked as a plant breeder for CalGene's Monsanto and a senior scientist for Solera Agen, where he developed and implemented strategies to incorporate biotechnology into breeding programs. Alan also serves as a liaison between public institutions and the seed industry. And at the Seed Biotechnology Center, Alan's research focuses on developing and integrating genomics into plant breeding for California crops. With Kent Bradford, he co-developed and is an organizer for the Plant Breeding Academy and vice chair of the U.S. Plant Breeding Coordinated, Coordinating Committee. I'll now turn things over to you, Alan. So my talk today is going to talk is going to be about uh, mapping a lot of markers, basically, which has been a, a large challenge, at least, at least at least in our lab, when we're designing um, high-density genetic maps. And we, we've come up with, with a, um, you know, we've adopted basically a strategy that's been developed in the uh, Mitchell-Moore lab um, here at UC Davis. So Dr. Richard Mitchell-Moore uh, works on lettuce and, and genomics. Really Alex Kozik has developed a number of scripts which are going to in the programs um, along with the advice with the other people acknowledged here, uh, Maria Truco, um, Sebastian, uh, Teresa Hill, and Kevin Stoffel, uh, and myself. And we've implemented these in both lettuce and pepper uh, to develop high-density uh, genetic maps. So we're going to go through uh, three programs today to really combine uh, the best of these programs. There's uh, the first program, first thing we do, as you know, is we need to group our markers into linkage groups. And um, Alex Kozik has developed a, a system of doing this, uh, of Python scripts. And you can see where you can get a hold of that. Th these are on Unix machines. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is really get, get on a Unix type server or system uh, to be able to use these programs. And um, so we group and we do quality control with MadMapper. And then we really align the markers uh, with record. And this is where record really, the program we really like is record because it really shines and is very, very quick. And it seems to be quite accurate um, and compare quite well with other programs like the ones we've listed uh, in our poll. Uh, check matrix is a, is a nice way of visualizing high density genetic maps and really looking at ways to troubleshoot and highlight maybe some things that may be out of order or maybe refine maps. So we'll go through all three today. 